In this video, we're going to talk about level of detail calculation, specifically the exclude function. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to Tableau. I have here a very simple data set. It's the Superstore data set. Um, a lot of you would probably be familiar with it. And we're going to start with this simple visualization. All right. So basically, category, subcategory, and I'm just putting the labels in. Okay, let's talk about what level of detail actually means, right? So whenever Tableau does calculations, in particular aggregates, right? So sum of sales, you know, average, median, count, all that, it always applies at the lowest level of detail. But what does that mean? Okay, so if I get rid of these category and subcategory, this is just the value at its, uh, without it being split up. So there's not really a level of detail here, right? But as soon as we start splitting it, we've added a level of detail because we've split it. And if I add another one, I've added another level of detail. And the further right you go, the lower the level of detail, right? So the lowest level of detail in this particular visualization is the subcategory, right? If I add segment in here, let's say, it's going to split it up again. Well, now this is the lowest level of detail. So really, it's whatever the last one is your lowest level of detail. And why is that important? Well, that's because the aggregate applies all the way to the lowest, right? It keeps splitting it up, splitting it up, splitting it up until it gets all the way to the lowest level of detail. Okay, great. That makes sense. Now, let's get rid of segment. Okay, and let's say I wanted to have two measures, right? So I've got sum of sales sum of sales, right? And it's applying at the lowest level of detail in this one, which is subcategory. But for this second one, I don't want it to apply at this level. I want it to apply at a higher level. This is where the level of detail calculations come in because then you can control where the calculations apply. So if I get rid of subcategory, for example, right? The value I really want to see on this far right is 892 pounds but you can see that when i add subcategory it's not right so i want to control that and maybe it's because i want to do some sort of percentage calculation or i'm comparing averages whatever it might be but let's say that's that's my intention that's what i want to achieve okay so what we do is using the exclude function here's what we do write a calculation and i'm going to call this exclude sales lod okay and then here's what we do braces the curly one right you write exclude okay and then you're going to exclude um whatever you want to exclude right so it's subcategory so i actually like to grab it from here drop it in and then we do semicolon and then we put in the aggregate in which case here it's the sales and then we close the braces and that's that's pretty much it so we hit okay all right so we now have it here we'll get rid of this one all right, and what I'll do is I'm going to get rid of that subcategory for the moment so you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to bring that function in, okay? So you can see the values are equal, right? I'm going to get rid of this tooltip. It's kind of annoying me, all right? So I've got 892, 892. Well, watch what happens when I split it. Watch what happens to this 892. It stays the same. And the reason it stays the same is because this is calculating at this level of detail by ignoring this subcategory. Now, why is this useful? Well, now I can actually do further calculations. So let's say I wanted to do 435 divided by 892, right? Which I, pro I couldn't do before. So now I can do something like, um, I can duplicate this. I can actually copy this and divide this one, right? Like so, and now I have a percentage. Right, and that percentage is within this one. Obviously, you can do that with a uh, quick table calculation, but just as a simple example. But that is basically how the exclude function work works. I'm sure a lot of you may have questions, so use that comment section below. Maybe you have some very special use cases you want me to cover. Again, use that comment section, or if you're struggling, let me know, and I'm happy to help. Until then, again, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then... Bye.